Yeah! So here's a fun little box that we just got in the mail. We are mid-transition right now with moving into this new space over here, as you see. It does look a little bit messy, so bear with me. We're kind of operating out of it now, which is exciting. Figured we'd do the gear review over here since uh, we got all the gear moved over. Uh, this is from a little company that some of you may know called Core SWX. Uh, we've been using their batteries for a long time. And we are pretty excited to uh, check these out. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about these guys. These are the Apex uh, 360s by Core SWX. Uh, we're pretty excited about them. We've been using Core SWX for a long time. We really like their batteries. Um, we find that they're really reasonable. Price point to reliable brand, which we really, really like. There is a ton of V-mount batteries out on the market right now, but there really is not many that are targeted and designed specifically for LED lighting. So these guys are unique in that factor. Um, these are 367 watt hour packs each. And the thing that makes these a little more unique is the fact that they can pull 24 amps continuously, which is really required when you're using high power LED lights. A lot of camera V mount batteries that you typically use uh, and that we've personally used in the past, they just don't have that same amp draw ability. So a lot of times if you're using them with LED lights, while they can work sometimes once you start getting uh, that battery drain down to 30%, sometimes it'll just die. Um, and then sometimes they're just not even able to power it at full brightness. Uh, while you can do it maybe 20%, 50%, uh, it just doesn't have the same capability as something like this. They sell two variants with this battery pack. One is a low voltage and one is a high voltage. So these ones run at your typical 14 volts. Um, that is kind of standard across the board for any V-mount batteries. The high voltage ones are running a little bit higher at 29. But one thing worth noting is if you choose to go that route, there are some simple modifications that need to be done to the V-mount plates on your lights. Now, Core does say that this is a very simple process. It doesn't require a uh, ton of technical skill to do it, but you are gonna have another step in the process. And then also once you do that modification to that plate, it is backwards compatible with the lower voltage. So if you have high voltage and low voltage and you've made that modification, from my understanding, you can put a low voltage or regular voltage, I guess, V-mount battery on that without doing any damage. What is different about these batteries than say your traditional V-mount battery? So Core, when they came out with these, a big emphasis for them was creating uh, a battery that has a lot of capacity at an affordable price. To do that, it requires, you know, taking away some features that frankly, if you're using these for lighting, aren't necessary in the first place. It does not have a PTAP port, um, and then it lacks some of the electronics that allow for battery display information. So if you use it on something like a monitor or a camera, you know, you're not gonna be able to have that battery display information. Taking these features away is it, it allows uh, Core to bring that, that overall final price down on units like this because you're not paying for features that you're frankly never gonna use if you are using these with lighting systems. The build quality on these is on par with any of other Core's products. Uh, we've been using their batteries for a really long time and we have put plenty of unfortunate drops on those batteries. We've never had any of the, the housing or the plastic or any really aspects of the batteries break. A lot of those are 99 watt hour batteries, uh, but nonetheless, they've been super durable for us. According to Core, they did add a little bit of thickness to the outer shell of this because it is a plastic polycarbonate. They really wanted to make sure that this battery could withstand uh, the everyday rigors of production and the wear and tear that it's going to see on set. Overall build and feel in hand is great. It's actually really similar to uh, the Core Nano batteries here. Uh, really similar polycarbonate finish and feel. Uh, plastic, but it feels great and it feels really solid. All right, so this one deserved its own category in my mind. Even with some of the biggest battery packs that you can use, um, keeping an eye on the discharge level of any battery when you're on set and when you're doing uh, shoots is really, really important because the last thing you want is losing track of where that battery status is and having it die mid take. So with these, they really thought out these indicator lights well. They put them on each corner so that when you hit the, the battery status indicator, they both light up. And the great part about it too is that whenever these are being discharged or charged, these lights stay on so that you can always see an at glance uh, view of where that battery level is at which I think is just really great attention to detail when they were designing these batteries. Uh, I think it shows that they were 
really taking uh, you know advice from people and, and looking how batteries like this would be used in the field. For charging with these batteries as expected and with these being big packs, uh, at 367 watt hours, it's just naturally going to take a while to charge these. These batteries are compatible with any standard, the low voltage at least, any standard 14.4 volt uh, V-mount lithium charging stations. Now, if you do choose to go with the rapid charger, uh, it ends up being about an extra 100 bucks, which is actually really reasonable for a high quality V-mount charger. And with that rapid charger, you're going to be looking at about five hours and 30 minutes for a single battery on there. And if you're charging both of them fully, uh, you're going to be sitting at about nine hours and 40 minutes. I just put it on the charger now for the first time, uh, and it's it's almost just comical what it looks like. You just never seen a, a V-mount quite so stacked like that. Kind of got a teeter-totter action. He's making a kind of funky squealing noise. Our other chargers don't make that noise. Uh, maybe it's just, uh, you know, getting those first few hours of operation in. Kind of weird. All right, so on to the runtime of these batteries. Now, we didn't do any testing ourselves, uh, but Core SWX does have a great graph kind of showing what you can expect to get from these batteries. When looking at the graph, you may notice that the estimated runtime for the 600D is actually pretty similar to the 300D. That is because the output is essentially halved. It's only operating at 50% power. So really you're gonna be getting probably a similar light output and runtime is a 300D. Um, and that's just the way the 600D operates right now. When you pop them on, you will see that it says 100%, but it's really only doing 50%. The best case scenario is using these with 300 watt lights, such as the 300X, 300D, um, the P300, the Novas, stuff like that, that are around that 300 watt draw. You get a decent amount of runtime with those, uh, and you're really kind of full, fully utilizing the battery's capabilities when using those. Now, cost per watt hour. This is where these batteries really shine. Core SWX for us has always been a really great brand because it seems like they pump out really solid products um, at a really reasonable price point. These, they did an even more impressive job with that. They really wanted to make these accessible and make these affordable when it comes down to the uh, total capacity that you're getting for the price that you're paying. So these at 367 watt hours, when you compare it to similar batteries, in that size and in that same arena, these are actually 18 cents cheaper than some of the closest competitors, which is impressive. And some of those batteries even get close to being twice the price per watt hour, which obviously when you scale that up to 300 watt hours, that gets to be pretty expensive. So they came out with these at a price point of 599 per battery with the charger and two batteries you can get it for 12.99 and that is for the low voltage the high voltage comes in a little bit higher around that 1400 dollars price point now some of you might be thinking that is still pretty spendy for battery 600 bucks is not cheap uh, and obviously it is not it's not for everyone um, for people looking for a battery system like this uh, for their led lighting systems um, this becomes a no-brainer to buy it's really cool to see core uh, come out to the market with something that really hasn't been done yet uh, and having a battery system for specifically LED lights. Now, obviously not every production is going to need them. Not every production relies on having portable power solutions like this, but I think for the productions that do, this really is an awesome solution at the price point that they came out with it. All right, so that's all I have for this video. As always, guys, we appreciate the support. And we appreciate you guys watching. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe as we have some really great behind the scenes content, gear reviews, and a lot more on this new studio that we're in that we are so excited to share with you guys. I'm Caleb with Threefold, and thanks for watching. That was a very strange beep. I don't know what that was.